Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of how VSTA has empowered Autodesk Revit end users to accomplish project-specific tasks, pushing the limits of their software to do what they need, when they need it. So what is Revit VSTA? Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for Applications, or VSTA for short, is now embedded in all Autodesk Revit Building Information Modeling, or BIM, software products. VSTA is a software solution that allows for customization of the applications in which it is integrated. Integrating VSTA and Revit software has resulted in significant benefits for the users of these applications. First and foremost, it has given casual users and developers alike the power to meet unique software needs on top of those fulfilled by the tools that come standard with Revit software. The Macro Manager graphical user interface makes it easy and quick to write macros that automate tedious and normally time-consuming tasks using the familiar VB.NET and c -sharp programming languages. For developers, VSTA is included among extensive Revit API and SDK resources. With VSTA's incredible capacity to solve real-world problems, Revit users are sure to enjoy increased productivity and efficiency when it comes to getting the job done. And VSTA's industry-leading ability to interface with XML, databases, the internet, and more ensures that their work can be seamlessly communicated to other users around the office or across the globe. Let's now take a look at Revit VSTA at work in Autodesk Revit Architecture 2010 to illustrate its power. In this demonstration, we'll be creating and running macros using Revit Architecture's Macro Manager tool and the Revit VSTA IDE. There are two types of macros that can be created in Revit software products. Application level macros, which can be used to accomplish a task in any document, and document level macros, which are used to accomplish specific tasks in specific project documents. First, we'll follow a Revit Architecture User's Guide walkthrough to write, build, and finally run an application-level macro in a blank Revit project. We'll then go into the Revit 2010 SDK and open a project with VSTA macro samples included to view the code behind and then run another, more complex, application-level macro. We'll remain in the VSTA samples project to run a couple document-level macros before concluding this presentation. Okay, so first we'll open a blank Revit architecture project we have saved here on the desktop. And then we go up here to the ribbon and click on the Manage tab where we can access the Macros panel and open the Macro Manager. Once the Macro Manager opens, we click on the Applications tab for application level macros and create a new macro module under which we can create and store macros of a similar theme. We then fill out this form, giving the module a name, selecting Visual Basic as a language in this case, and writing a description of the module. We'll be creating a macro under this module that will create a text box with a specific phrase and place it in a specific location on a given document when executed. Click OK to create the module, then click to create a new macro. We fill out this macro information form and place the macro under the module we just created. When we click OK, the Revit VSTA IDE launches with a code template already set up. All the user has to do is add the macro source code. For this macro, we will be using a sample source code included in the instructions for this Revit walkthrough, shown here. We'll type the first couple lines of code here to show how easy VSTA's IntelliSense makes code writing by completing partially written commands. And then we'll simply copy and paste the rest of the code for this macro. save, then build the macro, and we're done.
Back in the Macro Manager, we can select and run the macro we just created. Instantly, the text we specified in the code for this macro appears in a text box on the document in a specified location. You can imagine how running this macro in the future can save a lot of time when the same text needs to be stamped on many documents. Okay, we're now going to pull that VSTA macro sample project out of the Revit 2010 SDK and run another application-based macro from the Macro Manager. This one is called Get All Rooms Information, and we'll click Edit to view its structure and code in the VSTA IDE. This macro produces a spreadsheet with critical information about all the rooms in an architectural project. When we run the macro, you can see this information, including ID numbers, names, individual area measurements, and a total area measurement. This information can be exported at the click of a button if needed as well. The first document level macro that we'll take a look at is also included in this VSTA macro samples project and is called VSTA sample slab properties. We first select a slab in this project, then run the macro. A slab properties window is generated, giving critical data on the slab, including its level, span direction, and details about its layers. The second and last document level macro we'll demonstrate here is called VSTA Sample Find and Replace Wind Type. Notice that this wall now contains two 16 inch by 24 inch windows. This macro will replace all windows of this size in this project with 36 inch by 72 inch windows. When we run it, you will notice that the windows in the drawing are indeed replaced with larger ones and we are notified that a total of two windows have been replaced in this project. In a mere second, this macro changed the dimensions of these windows, an invaluable tool when a modification like this must be completed in a project containing hundreds of windows. All of the macros contained in this VSDA macro samples project can be easily integrated into Revit users' own projects to be used just the way they are here. For more information regarding VSTA, visit Summit Software's website at www.sumsoft.com or contact us by email or phone for sales and information.